Welcome back, guys. Richard Lake with French RCs and more. And I don't think that's supposed to be on the bench, is it? Go Nads! Oh, no. I can help it. All right. Random, random tip of the day. Use go Nads to get rid of fungus gnats. And back to the show. Anyway, fixing the 600 subscriber video carnage. Broken bulkhead. Called it, didn't I? <laughs> Fucking team matches, dude. They always break right here. This time I shattered the whole skid plate and the differential was coming loose in there. I mean, I was driving real good, huh? Good thing I was dragging its ass, right? All the way to the shop to get fixed. Anyway, we're gonna throw some shiny new parts at it here. Oh, that didn't work, did it? Hold on. All right, let's try this again. Well, shit. That worked pretty damn good, I'll say. What about you guys? Wish we could do that all the time, huh? With everything. <laughs> uh, time to put the tires on it and fix the other half the grain bigger, or two thirds, or whatever you want to call it. Well, shit. Frame's still straight. Considering we, uh, Broke that little ear completely off the bulkhead with the screw still in it. That was fun. And completely busted the friggin' skid plate in half. That was pretty epic. It's the third one of those I put on here. Yeah, you, you, you see that name there? It's a little hint at what's going on there. Check <laughs> out the broken fucking skid plate. That's all that's left of the skid plate. Well, shit. That looks a hell of a lot better. Got some RPM parts on there. Still rocking the stock frame rails. Still gotta make a freaking brace for my motor. But it's no uh, question why we are using vintage parts. I believe is how they're pronounced. That skid plate has been on there the whole time I've had this truck and the whole time I've had this channel. Well, we've had this channel. Let me rephrase that, because the life's part of it too. Anyway, enough said. We're finally getting around to getting a shiny new one for the rear instead of rocking plastic. Why, you ask? Well, I'm tired of breaking it right there. I mean, look, we've band-aided this thing so many times. Transmission's probably been out of this truck like 12 freaking times. It always snaps a drift pin, a roll pin, or whatever the fuck they're called. I call them drift pins. Call them whatever you want inside the transmission. It's always on the input or the front output area of the shaft. Of course, I have drilled a hole in the, um, I guess it's a clutch piece in here that would grab because it was nitro, obviously. Well, I drilled a through hole in it and put a lock pin in the bitch. And once in a while, that breaks too. And this is an eighth scale motor. Not sure what it's out of exactly other than red cap. That was what I had on the shelf. Uh, don't make fun of my plumber's tape. That's how I got the motor to keep separating from the spur gear and the gear burn out from my $30 gear. And yes, I made that mount. So I'm thinking about bringing a bracket across here, like a little arm, like this wide, you know? And then just putting a tab with obviously a little thick, thin piece of sheet metal or something. Just put a little triangle here. And now I'll clean it all up and paint it. But this thing has been a prototype now for like two years. I'm trying to make a brushless T-Max out of, well, you see it, basically nothing. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's turned out pretty damn good for a cobbed together piece of turd. <laughs> 